How to Overcome the Fear of Selling It's a stranger thing, but a lot of us don't like asking for money for our time. Life has conditioned us to believe that altruism is the highest calling and that we should be more than happy to provide our time, our work, and our creativity for free. It therefore comes extremely unnaturally when we try to sell something for cash. And that's especially true for those of us who have perhaps been providing free information via a website or a blog for years. How do you transition to the point where you're charging for your time and effort? Won't your audience turn against you? And is your product really worth that much? While giving things away for free is a nice idea, it's a pretty useless business model as it goes. In order to make a living doing what you love, you need to be willing to charge, and that means overcoming the fear of selling. Here's what you need to do. First, buy. Spend time in the shoes of your audience by buying the products that you are competing with. See what they are offering and see what it feels like. Do you feel like you got good value? And importantly, is this the kind of value you can offer? If the answer is yes, and if that seller is still popular, then chances are that you can charge for what you're doing too. You can also make yourself feel better about this by making sure you put your all into that project. Pull out all the stops to make this something truly great. And that way, you can sell with absolute confidence that your audience will be happy with what they receive. Another important step is to run a trial of sorts. This is something that a lot of people never consider, which is a big mistake seeing as sales platforms have a habit of going wrong. If you have a product or a service and you spend months generating pre-orders, you risk a huge catastrophe if those orders aren't automatically fulfilled once your product is set to live. To make sure this doesn't happen, have a test run and try buying from yourself or getting friends and family to do so. This way, you can see that everything is running smoothly, so at least you won't need to worry about that. If you are still anxious, you can also try offering a smaller product to begin with. That might mean selling a very small report or training program for $10 instead of selling an ebook or online course for $90. This is a great way to get your feet wet and to get a feel for selling. Once you see how positive the reaction is, you'll have no qualms about working on your next, bigger, follow-up project. Finally, if you still have the fear, consider accepting pre-orders for an unfinished product. This is excellent as it forces you to build the product and try. Wait for a moment of courage, announce that you are taking pre-orders, and then go for it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.